Take two, action. Good morning, Good morning dolphins. dolphins. Are you scary? <laughs> Stinky bell. <laughs> Thank you, bell. Shush. Yay. Three, action. Good morning, dolphins. Take four, <laughs> action. Good, Good morning, morning, dolphins. I'm Madison from Miss Fluke's class. And I'm Jake from Miss Fluke's class. And this is the WNTE News. Today's day is Tuesday, October 5th. Today is Do Something Nice Day. Make your friends and family smile this October 5th on National Do Something Nice Day. This holiday encourages us to perform acts of kindness for strangers or loved ones or both. It's easy to become so caught up in our own stresses and struggles that we forget to show kindness to others. This holiday is a great reminder that doing good deeds makes the world better. And might even help you better manage your own troubles in the process. So celebrate with us! Today is also World Teachers Day. Put the two holidays together and do something really nice for your teachers. I'm going to thank them for everything they do. Thank you, Miss Borden. Aw, thanks, Jake. Nice idea, Jake. Now let's take it over to Lucy and Ethel for the weather report. Good morning, Dolphins! We're Lucy and Ethel. And this is your weather report. Today will be rainy and cloudy. Look for a few rain showers this morning, followed by a really cloudy afternoon. The high today is 80 and the low is 69. There is a 30% chance of rain today. And tomorrow. No. Oh wait, I can dance in the rain if there's not lightning. The wind is coming from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be similar. With storms mainly in the morning, the, the thing is, without rain, nothing grows. Way to see the sunny side of things, Lucy. That's what I'm here for. You are the sunshine in my life. Thanks for being a good friend. It's nice to be able to talk to you in a day. Same to you, Ethel. Thanks for being a good friend. <laughs> we hope you have a great day, day off. And back, back to you, Akers. Thanks, ladies. Way to be kind to each other. Happy birthday today to our own sword and Miss Kinlaw's class. <laughs> now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance followed by the school pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to be safe, well prepared, in control, and make respectful choices. You may be seated. In school news, Mrs. King had two more third grade students join the Math Masters Hall of Fame. It's rare to see students pass the multiplication facts test before December. That didn't stop Xander Scaldaferi and Spencer Blass from completing them before October. Have you noticed the Frankenstein in the hallway of our school? If you're wondering why he's here, it's because he's hungry for candy! We are collecting candy for the fall festival. If you'd like to help feed Frankenstein, bring a big bag of candy and stick it in his head. I'm so glad you asked. The Fall Festival is a really fun annual event that helps raise money for the PTA. Mark your calendars. This year it is Friday, October 22nd. I can't wait. Me too. Me either. It is 
day two of Mental Health Awareness Week. Yesterday's coping skill was to take a deep breath when you need to calm down. Today's tip is to talk to someone you trust when you are sad, worried, scared, or mad. Talking to someone about how you feel can make you feel better. And that person may be able to help you. Who is someone you would talk to if you were upset? It could be a family member, teacher, counselor, or coach. There are lots of people to help you if you need it. That's great advice, Addison. Hey, we have another interview today. This week we're putting the spotlight on you. Did you know that this idea to interview each other was Addison's idea? She's full of good ideas. Thank you. So Addison, what do you like to do outside of school? I like to cheerlead, hang out with my friends, and play with my little brothers. That's cool. What is your favorite and least favorite subject in school? My favorite subject is science because I love to do science projects. And my least favorite subject, well, I don't really have one. Awesome. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Home Alone. That's cool. Who is your role model? My role model is my uncle. First of all, because he's a police officer. Second of all, because he became a police officer the exact same day I was born. Awesome. Who who is in your family? I have an older brother and he is 21. His name is Tyler. I have a younger brother in fourth grade. His name is Cole Crawford. And then I have two little twin brothers, Ben and Carter, and they are four. And who is that thing? I'm I'm Cole and welcome to the WNTV News. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Get And get back to work. Get back. What would you like to do when you grow up? I would like to be an orthodontist because I know a lot about braces. I would like to be a news anchor or I'd like to be an actor. Basically, anywhere I can talk. And there you have it, Dolphins, a little more about our fifth grade anchor, Addison Crawford. I'm so glad you thought of this. It's so fun. Me too. I think it's really fun. Thanks, Jake. I appreciate that. Today, be kind to yourself and everyone around you, Dolphins. I hope you have a great day. I'm Addison. And I'm Jake. Don't forget to set your success and... Just keep swimming. 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 Just keep swimming.